Hello and welcome to this deck deck of Elminster, which is a planeswalker that you can use as your commander. Um, first, taking a look at the card itself, there are two very interesting abilities on this card. So the first one is whenever you scry, the next instant or sorcery spell you cast this turn costs X last to cast, where X is the number of cards you looked at while scrying this way. So for example, his plus two ability is draw a card, then scry two, which means your next instant or sorcery spell will be two less to cast. The second interesting ability is to exile the top card of your library and then create a number of 1-1 one, one blue fairy dragon creature tokens with flying equal to that card's mana value. You can't really use that card after that or something, but um, that is pretty interesting as you can make, for example, 10 blue fairy dragon creature tokens that are one ones, but they can already deal 10 damage together to one opponent. And we aim to make that more. So uh, what do we have? We have lands, of course. We have uh, big spells because we want uh, to also exile some of them, but we also know that um, we can make them cheaper. So some of them we actually want to cast and um, uh, use to win the game that way. Uh, so one example is the approach of the second sun with which you can win uh, really easily. Many op opponents don't like this card, but if you are in a pretty okay uh, game of magic where people also run counter spells and stuff, I think this is fine. You, you need to play well with this still. Um, and it's a seven mana card that doesn't do too much. So it's impressive that you can get it out. Uh, with Elminster, you can get it out pretty easily. Um, so I don't want to go over every one of these cards, but uh, just know that they are big spells that you can uh, use pretty easily. One good example, I think, of a spell that you don't want to get out of the top for your dragons is Finale of Glory, because its uh, mana value is not too high. Um, but the mana reduction does work with X spells as well. So it will be pretty easy to get um, to scry 10 times and then <laughs> only have to pay two white mana for 10 four four white flying angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance. So that's really good. Um, as we know, we will make a lot of flyers, but uh, we want to make more. So for example, Talent will make more 2-2 two -two flyers. Uh, one other big spell that I've put here is Stormhurt, which will make 1-1 one, one flying Pegasi uh, equal to your life total. And it will be pretty easy to cast this still. Um, and this is a game finisher, definitely. Uh, some more angel creators and some other uh, bird creators. So I think that's nice. And as we have so many flying creatures, because think about this, if you, for example, you um, exile Memnonic Deluge, so not easier, uh, Stormhurt, it's 10 mana, so you will create 10 uh, flyers. Okay, so that will deal 10 damage to your opponents, but you can double it already with a Thunderclap Wyvern, for example. And as you're making 10 uh, 1 1 flying creatures, did not cost you anything uh, you probably will have four mana over to give all your creatures plus one plus one uh, and there are better sorts of abilities uh, for this like maybe for example rally of wings just a two mana instant you also untap all your creatures but then your flying creatures get plus two plus two which is the most relevant thing here um, and for example, this one, uh, it gives the creatures without flying minus two power, but your creatures with flying plus two power. So that will be 30 damage already. I think these kinds of abilities are really important here as we are uh, planning to make a lot of small flyers. Um, and giving them just a bit more power is way more powerful. And just one, just two or three of these spells can definitely finish off an opponent uh, in a quick fashion. Um, Mana Rocks, of course, that's really important. We have some big spell synergy, but that's not too much. Um, we have some protection. We need board wipes and some protection at least. So I'd like to run more of this, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about which ones uh, to use. And then you need like a massive amount of scrying to happen. 
and preferably ones that draw you cards as well. Um, but after that, the efficiency of scrying is really important. So for example, Augury Owl costs two mana and will scry you three, while Behold the Multiverse is questionable. <laughs> because um, even when you foretell it, it's just two mana for scrying two. So if there are more efficient ways to do this, that's better. And one thing to keep in mind as well is that uh, the instants and sorceries that scry you car uh, uh, cards also reset your ability. So they will be the next instant or sorcery that you play. Uh, so in that case, Augury All becomes even better because it doesn't really reset your um, mana reduction uh, in any way. One other thing you can look uh, at is things like Crystal Ball, which uh, you play for 3 mana, then you need to pay 1, so you've paid 4 mana to scry 2, which will reduce your um, uh, next spell by 2. So that you've still paid 2 extra mana, but after that you can keep doing this and then it becomes a really strong uh, mana rock. One other thing I really like, one other example is a Sigil Starfish, which doesn't seem too impressive, but it's a 2 mana uh, creature that can scry you 1 every time after that, so it becomes like a 2 mana. I would see this as a 3 mana mana rock uh, in some ways because that summoning sickness and will only help you on turn 3. Um, but yeah, I think if there are more things coming out with that cost 1 mana and will scry you a bit, I think you need to include those. And I think that's basically it. If you want to see more of this, I will put a link uh, for you in the description. Uh, it is a bit pricey still, so we'll be looking at that as well. Um, mostly pricey because these game finishers are pretty, uh, pretty expensive sometimes. Like uh, they don't have to be, uh, but they usually uh, are. <laughs> like they they cost like four or something, and that's pretty expensive in a deck with hundred cards. So uh, think about that. There are probably other ways you can do that, and I think that will shave off the most most of the money here as you. Definitely need mana rocks like these anyways. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.